Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Murray State. It's an extremely exciting day for all of us. My name is Josh Bruner, and I'll be emceeing this afternoon's event. Just a couple of housekeeping things. If you could please just turn your cell phones off. Don't want to hear any ringers. It would be great. Um, for the members of the media, we will go through the formal portion of this press conference. Following the press conference, we'll go right over here to this backdrop for further questions, so there won't be a Q&A portion of the press conference. Um, but like I said, it's an exciting day. Without further ado, President of Murray State University, Dr. Bob Jackson. Josh, thank you. It's good to see everyone. Happy Friday. It's a big Friday, of course, and I'm going to be very brief with my remarks. First, Coach, this is the first time in probably 25 years we've had snow in the forecast. <laughs> so we apologize because we know you are from South Carolina and Alabama and Georgia and, and all points in between. But uh, hey, it's good to see everyone, and thank you uh, for being here. First and foremost, um, and I hope I get all the names exactly right, I want to give a big racer welcome to Coach Jody Wright, his wife Meredith, their children, Thomas, Wellesley, yep. and Landon. Yep. So let's, let's make them welcome. <laughs> so for the last few days I've been gone, uh, Chairman Owens said, uh, you look tired and, and uh, Jordan Smith and I just literally got back from Frankfurt. So we made a four hour trip very, very fast uh, to get here today for this important event. So Coach Wright, uh, when I talked to him earlier uh, this week, wow, what, what a coaching resume, passion, excitement, enthusiasm, and I'm not going to steal any of Nico's thunder. I want him to tell you all about our new coach. And uh, you're going to be extremely pleased and extremely excited. Uh, we can't wait. And uh, we look forward to the comments in just, just a moment. I want to thank our regents, and we have several here. I'm going to call all of them because we, we have nearly every region here today. And just hold your applause, but I want you to thank, thank uh, all of our regents as well. Our chair, Leon Owens, is on the front row. Virginia Gray is our vice chair. Dr. Robbie Fitch, Dr. Melanie Schimberger, Dr. David Wilson, Ellie McGowan, Emily Rourke, G.L. Ovey, Dr. David Meinshine, and Mr. Tom Waldrop, and Dr. Matt Price. And so let's thank all of them for all that they do for Murray State University. <laughs> Coach Wright and his family would not be here today without the good work uh, of many, and uh, many in this room today, but primarily led by our Director of Athletics, Nick Yanko. And Nick did a fantastic job along with Chair Leon Owens, former coaches, uh, many of you in this room, alumni, friends of this university, great job to all, and thank you for the good work that you have done in the last, uh, really, two weeks or so. So thank you all. Give yourself a round of applause uh, as well. Most importantly, we couldn't do this work without all of you and many others who couldn't be here uh, today. Scott Barnes, uh, this is a famous quote. He made it very famous. He's director of athletics at Oregon State. And as that, his quote in that old saying goes, athletics are the front porch of a university. It's not the most important room in the house, but the most visible. And the work in this area supports recruiting and retention of students, student activities, our faculty and staff, alumni and donor engagement, national recognition, it brings great pride to this institution and any other institution. Uh, that's what all of this means to Murray State University. And any time we do this, it's what it means to Murray State University. Just like our basketball programs at this time, they're bringing great pride uh, to Murray State uh, as well. So all of you here today, our alumni, friends, donors, Sponsors, season ticket holders, racer supporters, 350 student athletes, coaches, assistant coaches, thank you for all that you do each and every day, and we appreciate what you mean to this institution. And I want to give all of you a round of applause as well. <laughs> a 
Lastly, a lot of good things are going on at Murray State. We have a great team. We have a great community. We have a great region. And a lot of great things are happening uh, at Murray State. We're setting records and sponsorships and season tickets and fundraising efforts and to advance racer athletics. New projects and initiatives are, are started or being finished. Our programs are moving forward in a positive way. I'm proud of all of our collective work. It's a great, uh, it's a great tribute to many, to many of you who are assisting in, in every respect. And it's a great tribute to Nico Yanko, our Director of Athletics. And at this time, I'd like to uh, introduce and bring forward uh, Nico Yanko, who has been, had a busy couple of weeks. And uh, Nico, thank you for all that you do. Thank you, Dr. Jackson. Gino, I think you're fired up. <laughs> That's right, I am too. And it, today is certainly a day to celebrate, right, for our institution and all things that uh, athletics means for our institution. And Dr. Jackson hit on that, but we're, ex we're excited for everything going on with Racer Nation right now. This year marks our 100th year of our football program, as well as many of our, of our other sport programs here. And today kicks off what I think is gonna be a tremendous year and hopefully a tremendous era under Coach Wright. As we transition to the Missouri Valley Conference, uh, the best conference at the FCS level, no doubt, okay? We're up for the task and I know Coach and the, the staff he'll assemble will get there. Uh, but before we get into talking about Coach Wright and how we went about the process to identify the next leader of our football program, bear with me, there's a lot of thank yous that I've gotta get through and I wanna make sure we're thorough in acknowledging those individuals. First and foremost, Dr. Jackson, for his support, his trust, his leadership, and insight in allowing us to navigate this. And uh, I would like a round of applause to acknowledge all he does for our <laughs> Some of our president's council members, uh, from Provost Todd to uh, Senior Vice President for Finance and Administration, Jackie Dudley. Um, Director of Procurement, Beth Ward, our Head of Human Resources, Courtney Hickson, and our General Counsel, Rob Miller. Uh, they were up for a lot of random phone calls from me and our team to ensure that we were able to put the best search process together and ultimately a swift hiring process for Coach Wright and his crew. And I just wanna thank that group for their assistance in turning this about. <laughs> to my team, Josh Bruner, Brock Radecki, Matt Kelly, Natalie Garfield, so many others that helped uh, and honestly gave up holidays, gave up weekends. Um, I haven't slept in 12 days, but neither have they because I've been calling them at all hours of the night. And I just wanna say thank you guys. And it means a lot to me for your commitment to excellence for this athletics department. So thank you. <laughs> Coach Dylan Sanders stepped in and filled a tremendous role as our acting director uh, for our football program on an interim basis here and to the rest of our football staff. I really wanna thank you all for continuing to prioritize our student athletes, prioritizing relationships in our recruitment uh, of those young men uh, to our football program. And I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the hard work you guys have put in in this interim basis. So guys, thank you very much for all you doing. <laughs> to our football student athletes, I know there's several in the room and you're kinda of all scattered out. But for me, uh, I really enjoyed connecting with you all through this process. And I just wanna say thank you for your patience and thank you guys for your trust in us to go out and help find that next leader to help take this program to a new level of success that we've seen, seen here at Murray State. So thank you guys for your help and, and, and again, your patience. I said it was gonna be a lengthy list and I promise I'll move as swiftly as I can, but these folks have done a lot. Board Chairman, Regent Leon Owens, my man. <laughs> Thank you for everything. No one cares more deeply about the student athlete experience and building positive relationships with young people and allowing us to prioritize serving these young men from recruitment through retirement. And his commitment to that uh, and his promise to fulfill these things as a, as a chair of our board means more than you guys will ever know to me. And I just wanna say thank you to you for everything you do for us, Regent Owens. Thank you. Randy Taylor, Dr. Randy Taylor. 
great sounding board, was a tremendous member of the search process, and I just want to thank you for being a part of that and your support and guidance to that, that entire few weeks here that have gone on and all you do for our football program as a former player, an investor in our success, but also a proud community member at Murray, in Murray Kentucky. Thank you. Yeah. He's not here today, but I know he's watching, so I'm going to look at the cameras here. Tommy Drappen and his wife Sandy, I can't thank him enough for his support, his investment, being a tremendous sounding board through this process and all things we do as an athletics department. Recently, Tommy and Sandy committed to the largest gift to Racer Athletics in its history of $1.25 million. Okay, and that's, that's astronomical. Tommy, I just want to say thank you. I know you're not here, but man, it was a tremendous um, privilege for me to work alongside you as we continue to build our athletics department. So thank you for all you and Sandy do. Chairman Eric Krigler, thank you for the late calls and the many calls and the, the process to work through this uh, and all you do to continue to allow us to, to champion athletics here as the front porch of our institution. Just want to say thank you again for all you do. <laughs> to our Racer Football Alumni Association, okay? Gentlemen, I can't thank you enough. Uh, I know I wore down Roger and, and Tony Ryan through that process and you guys were just, again, fantastic as I know you always are. We can't do what we're about to go do without you. And that's an echo, I'm going to echo that to all of our racer football alums. And I know Coach Wright will continue to champion this. But for us, it, you know, we're here for you guys, and I know vice versa. But you guys have invested blood, sweat, and tears into this program. And us to move forward, it starts with you all. So thank you guys for all you do. <laughs> Robbie Rudolph, thank you for being a sounding board through this process. Additionally, uh, some significant help uh, and allowing us to get Coach Wright here, and that really means a lot to me, but thank you for all you do. <laughs> Bud Byers. Bud, thank you for your investments in our program and all your support uh, every day. That's right, Bud fan. Well, that's right, big Bud fan, we're gonna get going. All right, last few here, guys. Greg Fry, Sam Shipley, Doak Stangle, Will Whitaker. This beautiful setup and all the events today doesn't happen without them, and I just want to thank them as well. And finally, I want to thank um, my family, starting with my best friend in life and my support system, Marnie. Thank you for um, allowing me to operate this past 12 plus days. Uh, you've been mom and dad, serving a lot of roles. Um, to Cheney and Gino, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Cheney and Gino. Uh, I promise I'll be around a lot more this weekend. <laughs> we'll have all the Mickey pancakes, okay? <laughs> and, uh, you know, we'll have a lot of fun. So I love you guys, and thank you. And to my parents for filling in some roles while I've been absent um, at home the past couple weeks here. All right, thank you guys. As we began the search process, we talked about the profile and characteristics we were looking for in our next head football coach. And we talked about an individual who builds positive relationships with our players and those he serves and prioritizes building the man and the student. Check. We wanted to identify an individual who was a relentless recruiter. Check. Someone with the commitment and ability to identify and develop talent. Check. Finally, we wanted somebody who was a proven winner. Check. As we vetted and visited with candidates, Jody really began to separate himself from the group with his energy, a detailed plan, and a talk um, that really showcased a blueprint for what success could, look, could be. But for us, the most important thing that stood out is he was focused on educating and caring about the young men in our program, okay, and ensuring that we will continue to serve them from recruitment through retirement. And that really set home with us as we began these discussions. And certainly his infectious energy, his smile, that, that you gravitate towards it. And he's a, he's a wonderful individual. He's a family man, and we're going to talk more about that in a second. But for us, an individual whose resume jumped off the table for us, okay? A guy that has won four national championships, again, a proven <laughs> winner. An individual who has orchestrated the number one recruiting class in the country, a relentless recruiter. He's recruited and coached numerous all-pro NFL players and all-Americans, okay? Certainly someone who identifies and develops talent. And the outpour of support I got from not only former players that he coached, 
but individuals that coached alongside him or on staffs and administrators around the country that we called relentlessly just to continue to gather information proved that this is an individual that prioritized positive relationships with those around him. And that really allowed Coach Jody to elevate himself in our search process as the ideal candidate for Murray State. Jody is someone who values the traditions of Murray State. He's someone who has a deep connections and the recruiting areas that we focus on not only as a football program, but as an institution. That was really important for us as we went out and also from several credible individuals in this industry. And you guys can guess who? the best recruiter in the country, okay? And he's coming home to Murray State, and we're really excited about that. His blueprint for success certainly is gonna speak for itself. He understands how to win and to achieve it predictably, but he understands you can't do that without people. And that's the same beliefs that start at the top with Dr. Jackson and myself and so many others that help lead our institution. We're gonna refuse the status quo. We need everybody pulling on the rope in the same direction together. We need every single one of us as we continue to establish a new standard of excellence for Murray State football in its athletics department. There's no better time than right now and no better place than right here. Racer Nation, help me welcoming your head football coach, Jody Wright. Can't, uh, you know, first I want to say I'm just so humbled by everybody that's been here and the experience so far, the people we've met just in the short term. You can see the passion in this place, and I promise you that's what you're going to get from me from every day. You know, first off, I just want to, I've been so blessed by God to even be here, you know, and I want to start with my family, my beautiful wife, Meredith, and my children right here. She is my rock star, my best friend, and, and when we talk about she allows me to do everything and pour into coaching world and I couldn't ask for a better best friend and wife and mother and uh, everybody please give her a hand. <laughs> but, you know with, with, with that being said you know the other person in my life my mother was a school teacher Ginger Wright one of the sweetest women in the world raised three sons you know they're all my mother was elementary school teacher and you'll hear me talk about my father and the impact he had on me as a football coach you know, my mom has washed more clothes and cooked more meals and washed more football uniforms than any woman probably in the world. And, but my grandmother, Mae, I know they're in Tuscaloosa right now watching. I just want to tell them how much I love them, and I wouldn't be here today without them. Like I said, my family is so important to me. My brothers, Josh Wright, who's the head coach at Tuscaloosa Academy, and my little brother, Jonathan Wright, who's the head coach at Bessemer Academy. Y'all probably get the third best coach in the family, but, uh, <laughs> but they're really good, I promise you. So... Uh, Hopefully I can make y'all proud, but I've got such a great support system and no different than building a football team. You've got to have that. My uncles, my Uncle Lane Wright, is like a second father to me. He's helped me in so many ways. Um, and like I said, my in-laws, Wayne and Candy Hocutt, let me take their daughter on this great journey that we call football coaching. You know, and I just want to thank them and, and, and everybody. But Dr. Jackson, I want to thank you for entrusting me to be the head football coach of this program. And I promise you, me and my staff are going to make you proud. Um, you know, Nico, this, this man right here, when I was calling different coaches, SEC head coaches, people that's worked with him, they would all, the first words out of the mouth would be rock star, gets it, he's elite, and, and you just, what little time I'm here, you can tell it. And, and throughout this process, you know, he is a forward thinker and a get it done guy, and I'm so excited to work with him and be part of this team. So let's give those guys a hand, please. <laughs> You know, uh, all coaches, we wouldn't be what we are without players, and I can't wait to pour into these young men at Murray State. I've been so blessed over my coaching career to have such great players, and, and you know, I'm going to lean on them. And But, you know, I know the players. I can't wait to get with them next week and start learning them because I didn't get to recruit them, and, and I can't wait to hear their story and hear what they're about. And I know there's going to be so many positive things that we're going to build here. So any of the players here, I can't wait to see you. And uh, we're going to have a great experience. And speaking of players, the RFAA, some of the former players here, 
I can't tell you the, the conversations I've had with some of them and the passion uh, for Murray State, and, and that's why I'm so excited to be the head football coach here. And this program will always be about the players, and this is your program, and you will always have an open door policy, office, practices, anything of former players, and can't wait to get you all involved. And I just want to say thank you to all the former players that are here today and everything you've done for Murray State football. Um, you know, I, speaking of, uh, you know, just today, like Quincy Williams make it all pro. You know, there's there have been some great football players come through here, and we're going we're gonna to have some, some more great ones coming through here. You know, when we talk about influences and why you coach, um, and uh, I'm going to try not to tear up, but, um, you know, my dad, I lost him uh, about a year or two ago to ALS, and that's the reason I coach. Um, but just the influence he had on people and the way he could bring teams together. And, and he always said, if you, if you had enough winning people, winning will take care of itself. And that's going to be our plan here. And there's winning people here. And that's, that's the way our program is going to be built on. And, uh, you know, I love you, Daddy, and I hope it makes you proud. <laughs> but, um, you know, coaching, I, uh, you know, just like, I'm going to have a long list to thank of people, so, so bear with me. And, and some of these guys, I've, I've got to do it because I wouldn't be here where I am today without all the people I've worked with. And, and, and God bless me being around so many good people. Uh, Jack Crow recruited me, played for him at Jacksonville State, just great influence, gave me my first coaching job. Uh, Willie Slater was my offensive coordinator. You know, got to be around those guys, young age. And I always tell young coaches, you know, don't chase money in this profession, chase people. And if you chase the right people, the right results will come and everything you want. Um, you know, my first graduate assistant job, well, actually I was a volunteer, so I paid to get a help my first coaching job. That's how low on the totem pole I was. But um, <laughs> Sylvester Croom uh, at Mississippi State, uh, was like a second father to me, uh, taught me so many things about how to treat people, how to run a staff, organization. Uh, Woody McCorvey, Seth Clemson, uh, just a – Another man that's like a second father to me, Ellis Johnson, J.B. Grimes, Amos Jones. I was, I was around so many great men um, that also happened to be just great coaches. And what they were able to pour into me, I'll, I'll be forever grateful. Uh, Dan Mullen, uh, Coach Mullen gave me a full-time job when I was a young, broke GA um, running around when he first got hired as a head coach. And, and being with him his first year as a head coach, got to learn so many things. You know, how he ran a program, be forever grateful for that opportunity he gave to me and the way he treated me. Uh, Bill Clark uh, at Jacksonville State and UAB, probably one of the best team builders, uh, whether it was at Prattville High School or Jacksonville State or, or UAB. Um, they should be a 30 for 30 about Bill Clark, uh, the, what he's accomplished and the, the type of the man he is. I got to be a part of championships with him and also got to be part of a football program being shut down. So that was, that was fun at UAB in 14. And, uh, but unbelievable uh, man and coach. Uh, Freddie Kitchens. Um, just another great man, great coach that gave me an opportunity to coach in the National Football League, which I'll be forever grateful uh, for his knowledge and friendship uh, he gave me at the Cleveland Browns. Uh, Joe Judge, one of my best friends in this world, gave me an opportunity to coach for the New York Football Giants, uh, which I'll be forever grateful uh, for that. And, and Joe is one of the smartest football guys I've ever met. Um, you know, the man I'm currently working for, Shane Beamer, probably one of the greatest coaches, I think, in college football, an individual that – you know, I've had a 20-year relationship with, and I know the Beamer name around here is Gold, and there's a reason. I was talking to Shane earlier today, and he was talking about running through those halls and the, the coach's offices and stuff, but I know I'm going to be leaning on him and a lot of these guys in my head coach journey, just like my staff. Um, and I believe you win with people. And that's one thing Coach Beamer has instilled in us. And, um, but just the way he runs his program, uh, I've been so grateful to be around him the, the past two years. Um, and, you know, uh, Nick Saban, I uh, can't thank Coach Saban enough. Uh, you know, I hope he enjoys his retirement. He needs to run for college football president or something because he, he's the best th that's ever done it. And uh, him and Miss Terry, you know, the leadership, making every player and coach better, um, you know, and what he's done for so many young coaches like me, um, you know, and just the type of guy Coach Saban is. And my dad got sick, and, you know, you think the Alabama football coach and me and things going on and to call and check on him and, and I mean, just, you know, to have time to do that and, and just an amazing coach and I can't tell you how much I could talk for six hours just on the things I've learned from him um, and so happy for him and one one special lady uh, that, that 
a lot of people know you, it takes a lot of people. Miss Linda Leone, who uh, is Coach Saban's assistant, has been so great to me over the years and was talking to her yesterday. And, and I uh, just wanted to give her, you know, thank her for me and so many other young coaches that she's helped out over the years and, and football knowledge. And, you know, I tell people all the time when I was at Alabama, I got to be around Burton Burns and Bobby Williams and Kirby Smart and Jeremy Pruitt, so many good young assistant coaches you saw come through up and, and so much you learn and you hope you absorb 10% of it. But, um, you know, um, when I was, you know, talking about, you know, Murray State football and 100 years of Murray State football this year, and you think about some of the coaches and players that have come through this program, and, uh, you know, whether it's Frank Beamer, who, you know, I told Coach Beamer, we, we get his dad back in Houston Nutt and Joe Panunzio, Mike Godfrey, to Bud Foster, to Ron Zook, and I was talking to Chris Vaughn from the Dallas Cowboys, and, and uh, you know, just all the, the legendary coaches that have come through this program and legendary players, and, and so excited to reconnect with those guys and, and celebrate all the success that has happened at Murray State football. Um, I can't tell you how excited it is to, to the 100 years we're about to celebrate of this place, and we are going to celebrate it. So. You know, the, the conference we're in, it's, it's the toughest conference in FCS football. And I love a challenge. I got so much respect for, you know, the North Dakota State, South Dakota State. There's not a bad team in this conference. Um, but we are we're excited and we're going to embrace the challenge. And, and I, I'm so, I feel like my staff, I told them, I said, hey, I, I wouldn't want it any other way. So we're, we're ready to get after it. But one thing, talking about my staff, um, you know, I will not sacrifice uh, – coaching for people we're going to have the number one quality we're going to win with is people so uh, my coaches are all going to be men that I would let raise my children and that I, I would want to coach my son and that's what's going to be on the staff so players recruits that's what you're going to get and we're going to pour into these young men and we're going to pour into this community and we're going to be passionate about helping our players and they're going to reach their potential on and off the field so And one thing we're going to do, current players, um, guys that have signed, I can't wait to hear your story like we talked about earlier. But I'll tell my coaches all the time, we're going to be coaching positive. I've known, never known anybody to accomplish anything with a bad attitude and lack of energy. So if you've got a good attitude and effort, we'll get there. All right? And I don't want to hear my coaches. I'm going to tell them. I don't, don't tell me what he can't do. Tell me what he can do. All right? And we're going to find a way to, to, to win some football games. I promise you that. But. I know everybody in this room wants to hear what type of offense we're going to run, what type of defense we're going to run, and special teams, and, and I don't know. You know, I, I do know this. We're going to do what our players can do, um, and we're going to go out and try to recruit the best young men, the best football players. We like for them all to be the biggest, fastest, strongest. Yes, that's what we're going to go after. But whatever we've got, we're going to fit their personnel. But it is going to be a brand of football that fans enjoy to watch. We're going to be exciting. We're going to be aggressive, and we're going to be cutting edge. All right, we're not going to sit back and, and status quo and check a box. We are going to find a way. All right, and one of my mottos, I love, we can, we will, and find a way. All right, so that's going to be Murray State football. All right. um, because I believe every day you're either growing or dying. And this program is growing because of this leadership and with the football players we've got here and the football players we're going to bring in. This program's not dying, it's growing. I promise you that. So, you know, with that being said, we need everyone in here. You know, Nico, get a plan to bring some extra seats, all right, because we're fixing to pack this place out, all right? So, wherever we got to do it, if, if, if you got season tickets, if you, if, you got, if you buy four tickets, buy eight, all right? If you buy eight, buy 16. If you buy 50, buy 100, all right? But everybody, every student, every former player, we're going to fill that stadium. And we're going to have passion in this place, and I, I can already feel it, and I'm so excited. So, Nico, I already talked to him. We're we going to have a plan for some extra seating, all right? Yeah. We're good. Yeah. But, uh, but, you know, I can't wait to meet everyone. And one thing I will say, uh, Vegas the, is our mascot, Racer One Vegas. Better get in shape because it's going to be running around that track yeah. a little bit tonight, all right? So we're going to have to do a little off-season training with uh, Vegas. So. But, uh, but now we need everyone in here, and I, my door is always open, and, and I, can't, I can't tell you how excited I am 
to be the head football coach for the Murray State Racers, and we're going to do something special. I promise you that. All right. Thank you so much. That'll do it for the formal portion of our press conference. We're going to ask the families to come up. We're going to take a couple additional pictures. Members of the media, if you guys would like to hop over to this backdrop, like I said, we'll have Coach come take some additional questions. But thank you all again for coming, and go Racers.